If you've ever driven past a wind farm or seen one spinning on the horizon, you've probably noticed something curious. Almost every modern wind turbine has exactly three blades. Not two, not four, not ten, just three. This isn't a coincidence, and it's not purely about looks. The three-blade design is the result of decades of engineering experiments, aerodynamic science, mechanical balance, and even psychology. Engineers tested turbines with one blade, two blades, and many blades. And while each configuration had strengths, the three-blade design consistently came out as the best overall compromise between efficiency, stability, durability, noise, and cost. In other words, three blades aren't perfect at everything. They're just the best at most things at the same time. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. To understand why, we first need to talk about how wind turbines actually extract energy from the wind. Wind doesn't push a turbine like a hand pushing a wheel. Instead, turbine blades work like airplane wings. As wind flows over the curved surface of a blade, it creates lift, pulling the blade around the rotor. The goal is to capture as much energy from the wind as possible while keeping the rotation smooth and controlled. Adding more blades might sound like it would capture more wind, but in reality, too many blades create drag and turbulence. When blades are packed closely together, they interfere with the airflow behind them, reducing overall efficiency. Three blades strike a balance where each blade has enough space to interact with clean airflow while still capturing a large portion of the wind's energy. One blade and two blade turbines were actually tested extensively, especially in the early days of wind power development. A single blade turbine can be very fast and uses less material, but it suffers from severe balance problems. Engineers had to add a heavy counterweight opposite the blade to prevent the turbine from wobbling, which defeated much of the weight and cost savings. Two blade turbines, on the other hand, are more balanced than single blade designs and can be cheaper than three blade turbines, but they come with their own issues. As two blade turbines rotate, they experience a phenomenon called gyroscopic instability, especially when the turbine changes direction to face the wind. This causes extra stress on the structure, leading to more vibration, noise, and long-term mechanical fatigue. Over time, those stresses translate into higher maintenance costs and shorter lifespans. Three blade turbines solve most of these problems at once. With three evenly spaced blades, the rotor is naturally balanced, which means smoother rotation and far less vibration. This balance is incredibly important because wind turbines are tall structures often exceeding 80 or even 100 meters in height. Any vibration at the rotor is amplified along the tower, which can weaken components over time. A three-blade design distributes forces evenly, reducing stress on the hub, gearbox, bearings, and tower. This smoothness also allows turbines to operate efficiently across a wider range of wind speeds. From gentle breezes to strong gusts, without needing constant mechanical corrections. Noise is another major reason three blades became the industry standard. Wind turbine noise comes mainly from the blades cutting through the air, especially as the blade tips move at very high speeds. Fewer blades often mean faster rotation, which increases aerodynamic noise. Two blade turbines, for example, tend to spin faster than three-blade turbines to generate the same amount of power, making them louder and more noticeable. Three-blade turbines can rotate more slowly while still producing high power output, resulting in quieter operation. This is especially important for wind farms located near residential areas, where noise complaints can become a serious issue. 
there's also an important visual and psychological factor at play. Studies have shown that people tend to perceive three-blade turbines as more stable, graceful, and aesthetically pleasing compared to turbines with fewer or more blades. While this might sound subjective, public acceptance is critical for renewable energy projects. A design that looks chaotic, overly fast, or unbalanced can trigger resistance from communities, even if it works technically. The smooth, steady rotation of three-blade turbines feels calm and predictable, which helps improve public perception and approval. In renewable energy, perception can be just as important as performance. From an economic standpoint, three blades also make sense. While adding a third blade does increase material and manufacturing costs compared to two-blade designs, those costs are offset by lower maintenance, longer lifespan, and higher reliability. Wind turbines are expected to operate for 20 to 25 years, often in harsh environments like offshore waters or remote plains. Reducing mechanical stress and failure rates saves millions over the turbine's lifetime. Three-blade turbines have proven to deliver the lowest cost per unit of electricity over time, which is ultimately what matters most for large-scale energy production. In the end, wind turbines have three blades, not because engineers stopped experimenting, but because they already found the sweet spot. Three blades offer the best balance between aerodynamic efficiency, mechanical stability, noise control, durability, cost, and even human acceptance. It's a design shaped by physics, refined by decades of testing, and proven by millions of hours of real-world operation. So the next time you see a wind turbine slowly turning against the sky, remember, those three blades aren't just spinning in the wind. They represent one of the most carefully optimized designs in modern engineering. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.